I've been Omicroned officially, and so I'm in this barth, isolated. Oh, Allison's dropping me off some granola and yogurt. Here she comes. That's a good friend. questions to my spokesman. This week was meant to be one of collaborative songwriting, singing, cooking, and endless sound tweaking all together as a band. And also hanging out with my friend Allison, who came all the way from New Orleans just to visit me while I'm in America. Instead, I've been out in the barth, alone, sleeping, recovering, coughing, peeing outside, just standing outside, staring into the trees. This downtime has been about accepting when life doesn't turn out the way I'd planned it, accepting a need for rest and non-activity, surrendering to the fact I don't have control, really, noticing and appreciating how loving and helpful those around me are, feeling grateful for my body's ability to fight off illness, feeling grateful for medicine, plants, and simple pleasures, yes. like a watermelon, or an ice cube. All I can do is look out the world out there with envy. What are you guys doing in there? I wanna I wanna go in there. There's a house over there. A studio. If only I could go in. Hi. Uh, how's COVID? Um, not great. How are you feeling? Not great. Yeah. Any specifics? You guys alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering if I could have a real coffee, please. You want a real coffee? Yes, please. Make you, make you, make you a fat cap. A what? A cap, a cappuccino. Even missing home feels sweet because I have a home life to miss. And regaining health is helping me remember how precious health is, how precious life is. I'm delighting in things I've failed to delight in for a while. A few days ago, I stumbled out of my trailer trying to reach the bathroom for some water. I felt as if I was really going to pass out. I was seeing stars. My world was growing dark. It was at the height of my fever. As I stumbled across the yard, I noticed the rain flowers coming up after the recent storm. I made note that I should go back and admire them when I could. And so, I did. 
Alright, so there's talk of setting up an, a remote vocal booth, either in the silo or in the little casita kitchen. I've just been in the silo and it's really hot and really smelly. And so I, <laughs> I don't think we're going to do it in there. I'm going to try and do it in the kitchen. Got the cables. What? Got the cables. Just the cables. Operation Omicron vocals underway. Are you optimistic? About this? I don't see why it wouldn't work. I mean, that's sort of our whole, our, our whole philosophy here. <laughs> Luckily, I'm feeling a lot better, and yesterday I was even able to work on some vocals with the boys. They set up a satellite booth for me outside of the studio, and even though it was really hot, we were able to get some work done, finally. I did have to have ice packs on my body constantly. I've only got a few more days left here, so I'm going to focus on enjoying the ride instead of dwelling on what could have been. I hope you're well. Thank <laughs> you.